What was an educated theory tonight confirmed by science. It was Canada geese, lots of them, that flew into the engines of U.S. Air Flight 1549 back in January. The bird strike killed the plane's engines, and as you saw, we all saw, forced to make an emergency landing in the Hudson. The geese migrating south in January? Why so late in winter? Jim Hoffer is here with a, a story that just keeps on developing, right? Well, you know, the experts say geese will do this. After a sudden snowstorm covers their feeding grounds, they'll pick up and move. But were they just passing through, or had they been here since the fall? Even the bird biologist had trouble nailing that down. Using four feather samples from the engines of Flight 1549, Smithsonian scientists say they can conclusively determine that migratory geese from Canada forced the heart-stopping landing in the Hudson. The result was that these birds uh, were definitely migratory, long-distance migratory birds. Dietary markers or isotopes from the feathers taken from the engine matched those taken from a population of geese in Canada. There was no match when compared to feathers from geese near LaGuardia. An important distinction since the FAA and the Port Authority are responsible for controlling resident birds around its airports. But the Smithsonian experts admitted they could not determine whether these birds had been wintering here in New York. These birds that breed up in Labrador and Newfoundland, they probably winter anywhere from Boston to South Carolina. We don't know. They say that they don't know because they don't have a clue. Steve Garber used to head the Port Authority's wildlife control. He's now a paid consultant to a group trying to defeat the city's plans to build a trash facility near LaGuardia. He says the Smithsonian study is flawed because of its small sampling of feathers. They're using a test, Hobson's test, but they're not doing it correctly. Hobson says you have to work with large samples. Bird strikes have skyrocketed in the last five years at area airports, and Eyewitness News has continued to document strikes since Flight 1549. The bird strike on the park is returning. In March, a passenger-filled plane was forced to return to JFK after striking birds on takeoff. Around the same time, birds caused an engine flameout, forcing an emergency landing at Newark. More birds, more bird strikes. And whatever the scientists tell us, it's clear not all of them are migratory. They feel as though they are less responsible for birds that came from Canada because they know that they are 100% responsible for birds that came from this local area because they're not managing the problem. Port Authority disputes that, saying it is stepping up its bird control efforts, including hiring a second wildlife manager and also increasing training. Tomorrow, Bill, NTSB holds hearings in Washington on Flight 1549. We'll be there. We're okay. likely to hear more about this. And your report tomorrow night, I was soon. Yeah, okay. five and six. Good. Thank you, Jim. Mm -hmm.